Hi, my name is Thomas, and obviously I don't do these videos a lot because, quite frankly, they're depressing. So, um, I wanted to make this video to, like, kind of spread awareness of, like, what is happening currently in YouTube, in the whole YouTube situation. Uh, but before I do that, I need to give context of what the situation is, obviously. So, what is a community... So what are the YouTube community guidelines? But well, according to the YouTube community guidelines, you know, website, um, under the section, what action does YouTube take for content that violates the community guidelines? YouTube takes action on flagged videos after review by our trained human reviewers. They, they assesses whether the content does indeed violate our policies and protect content that has an educational, documentary, scientific or artistic purpose. Our reviewer team remo teams remove content that violates our policies and age-restricted content that may not be appropriate for all audiences. Our automated flagging systems also help us identify and remove the spam automatically as well as the uploads of content that we've already reviewed and determined violates our policies. And underneath that is the community guideline strikes. If our reviewers determine that the content violates our community guidelines, we remove the content and send a notice to the creator. The first time that a creator violates our community guidelines, the creator receives a warning with no penalty to the channel. After one warning, we'll issue a community guideline strike to the channel and the account will have a temporary restrictions. <coughs> Channels that will... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Channels that receive three strikes within a 90-day period will be terminated. Channels that are dedicated to violating our policies or that have a single case of, of severe abuse of the platform will bypass our strike system and be terminated. All strikes and terminations can be appealed if the creator believes that there was an error and our teams will review the decision. Okay, so now that I've put that into context, uh, what what's happening at the moment? There's a channel on YouTube called MXR Plays, where they've got two channels, MXR Mods and the one that I've just said, MXR Plays. MXR Mods are for like Skyrim and mods, as you can probably tell from the title. And MXR Plays is him, is him and his girlfriend reviewing and reacting to various subreddits or videos, whatever the case may be. Now, about the, the reacting to the content part, that's a whole other stuff that I can't go into because obviously there's a loads of stuff that comes into like copyright and such, but that's not my point. The point of the video is that recently they received a second strike on their YouTube channel because of a video that was featured where apparently a child was shooting fireworks. What? Now, keep in mind, this is not, like, very harmful thing. Like, the video in question is just a child playing with a firework. You're guaranteed it's dangerous, but it's nothing that violates YouTube's policies. But for some strange reason, the a human person looked at that video and thought, yeah, that's apparently child abuse or child harmfulness, which is absolutely ridiculous. Guaranteed, there is a safety that needs to be upheld on YouTube. That's why these policies are in place. But there's a clear hypocritical thing with YouTube, as you can probably tell from the screen I'm about to show you. As you, as you can see right here, I'm on the YouTube page and I've searched up children playing with fireworks and there's like compilations of videos of children playing with fireworks. And I don't get it. Of course, there's the obvious Panic at Kindergarten, but that's a news source. But you've got toy reviews such as this, who are clearly playing with fireworks, and the, ch and the child is clearly near a very dangerous firework, and yet that content is up. It's still up. There's no community guideline strike for it at all. And, and the, fun the funny thing is, is that this uh, situation is not the first, because I don't know if you know, but recently there was a situation between Critical and YouTube, as well as Markiplier being involved, because Critical in one of his videos showed a very comical skit of like three, you know, child, child characters, you know, having a fight because of a road rage accident. And he recently received a, uh, a copyright strike or I think it was a copyright strike on that video and Markiplier who had it up like way 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 before he actually commented on the situation saying yeah where's my strike YouTube and then they eventually gave it to him there's a clear hypocrisy on YouTube that needs to be addressed so in this situation as I've said before the if MXR plays can get a strike because a child is playing with a firework Keep in mind, the child is not shooting the firework at anyone, the firework's not hitting anyone, he's playing with it, whilst, whilst you've got millions and millions and millions of other YouTube channels who do the exact same thing, and these videos haven't been taken down or been given a strike, then I'm sorry, 
either all of it's okay or none of it is. What, make, what makes it this situation worse is that the, even besides the whole, like, you know, children shooting a firework and such, there are other YouTube channels out there that are promotely, you know, break the guidelines. Because let's face it, YouTube is becoming more of a... a f uh, how do I say it? It's becoming more corporate. It's Instead of supporting the creators, it becomes more corporate with business. That's why we get so many late night shows on the trending page. That's why we get loads of bloody football things on the trending pages because it's becoming more corporate. It wants to work with more businesses. So that's why it's trying to make the, you know, the videos that come up with the website seem less harmful. I mean, remember the whole apocalypse situation? That was a whole entire situation. So, of course, when there's videos like this, this is put this, um, which I'm showing in the caption now, and this video is perfectly unrestricted and completely monetized, it gives the platform a bad look. So what can, so what can we do to help? So, um, obviously the most thing, the thing that we can do is share videos like this to YouTube to, ad to address our concerns with the platform, as well as supporting the creator that's under attack at the moment. So that's why I'm leaving in the link below MXR Plays YouTube channel because they need all the support they can get at the moment. Uh, you can also check out the quartering video uh, video on this whole situation because he did a better because he does a better job than me and he actually helped them during their time with drinking media which was a whole lot of mess so anyhow as i said before i don't do these videos kind of often i normally just do reviews or gameplay videos but i wanted to get my mind out there i wanted to like voice my opinion on it because i find it very hypocritical of youtube to pull this kind of stuff and get away with it but anyhow, that's all I've got to say. Um, make sure you go to MXR Plays and the courting video and share their videos because they need all the support they can get. Until then, take care.